welcome back to the channel everybody right here on Port Royal Gaming Time for another edition of Retro Replay coming to you from a little studio in the north Nexus off screen but on the screen there is Zion and he is as you probably see by the game Playing on the Xbox, what are we playing tonight? We're playing... He's not in the room so I'm, I'm gonna say this again when he comes back We're playing the best skating game of all time to include the number 3 in the title we're playing the best skating game to ever include the number three in the title. We're playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, uh, the Xbox version, which is um, not the version I'm familiar with. I played the GameCube version many years ago, but um, I mean, they're mostly all the same anyways. But yeah, I think we'll try and get through uh, a full career mode on this. It's like 10 levels or something. I'll try and do as many of the goals as I can. As this little demo plays. We've played, um, that's Bam Majera from Jackass. We've done Tony Hawk 2, I think, is the only other game on the channel here. I did through the whole career on that one. Um, do we have any other? Oh, you can actually customize this stuff a bit in this stuff. I forgot about that. Oh, it's loading. There we go. I will just keep Tony default. First level is the Foundry, obviously. I think I'm almost 100% of this game on GameCube. I almost beat it with like every skater. I think I got up to the secret skaters who, um. I don't think we unlock him. Or not. If not, then I'll say who I'm talking about after. I do know you can unlock Kelly Slater, the surfer, and he skates around on a uh, a surfboard. It makes as much sense as it sounds like it does. So this game was the first one to, I think, include... Actually, what's this one bring in? Because number two was the first one to bring in manuals. Four is the first one to include reverting out of spines. Um, I guess this was just the, uh, the first next-gen Tony Hawk game. If you don't count Tony Hawk 2X on the Xbox. Try and do as many of these goals as you can here. Hit the pro school. Oh no! Get some of these stat points. They're not necessary to complete in the game, but um, they are for making it easier on yourself. Oops. Right now I'm base stats, I don't think I can hit a 900, no, I don't have enough speed, or wheel or anything. Uh, this is a goal right here, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Oh well. I've always been like that, these, the Tony Hawk games, they just have weird little cutscenes of just random things happening like that. Usually at the expense of someone. Kind of like Rockstar in that way. Actually, I'll try to get for another 100 here. Oh, we got it. And I got the 6 tool goal too. There's three different... I think this game was the first one to have three different scores that you could get. Canada. High score, pro score, 6 score. Uh, okay. I don't think I'm gonna worry about. Actually, you know what? Let's just go. Uh, let's go one up for retro replay. One up. I'll. Oh, here we go. That's that point. So, for the ollie up and maybe manual balance to extend those combos out. 
I'll save it now, but I won't save it every time because it's just going to kind of drag us on a bit. I'll see how many of these other objectives I can do real quick. Oops. I haven't even mentioned the soundtrack yet. It's just like every other Tangle game. The song was what made me think of the soundtrack just then too. It's one of my favorites. It's in my playlist on Spotify. Oh, it's the deck right there, hold on. Okay, if I remember I got here. It's been a minute since I uh, did this, like I mentioned. I haven't played through a whole career in this game in a while. I think the last that point is up there somewhere. Or not. Oh, there it is. Well, um, I need to get like this. Damn. Oh, forget it. You don't need me. You don't really need it. That's the thing about these games. You might have objectives you got to be doing, but if you get carried away in a combo. The objectives mean nothing until you land this combo. Right, the bucket. Oh, I actually got that. I didn't do it! That's actually Definitely pretty hard. Bad. I'm out of here. Whoa, whoa! Clear out of my way! Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> What else did I have to do? I had to 50-50 the freaking gap here. That's right. Cover shot. Oh yeah. Oh cannonball, sorry. Oh I didn't mean to do an 100 man. That's all the objectives done, I think. I just didn't get the much more forward. Ooh. Ooh, freestyle. 120,000, that's like more than I got before when I was actually trying to combo. Cover shot! Nice, that's all of them. Um, okay, let's go. Oh, I need more speed, I think. No. We're going to Canada. So I'm not worried about not getting all the stat points and stuff to like kind of max the stats out, but. My goal is to try and get every mission done. Very doable. Bury that bully. I'm gonna start with skate. Keep 
Say loud the level unlock. Uh, melon grab over the blade. Secret tape and then the points. Uh, easy enough. Let's go. Hang time, Ollie. And Ollie's important. Hang time over the blade, I think, is just. Well, I don't need to be any of this, but I'm going to roll with it. PS1 and uh, X, uh, Nintendo 64 release. I think this is the last officially licensed. Oh well, well, well. it's the last officially licensed N64 game in North America. Which I can't say much about because I've never played before, but I think it basically controls like the first two. So I mean, there's worse ways to go out as a console. Grab over the blade. Where's the blade? Why am I forgetting that? We'll give this one more run and then we'll move on to the next one. Actually, no. That's right, I'm, I'm gonna do these missions. This. Ready to shoot. And that was not a melon gray. Let's shoot him That's what I mean. Got it. No, I think it's just high school. Yikes. Six four. Oh, let's really check what his tricks are. He's got the indie, the one two. Oh, he's got the one two three four. Five eight over ten. I think that's a uh, grind. Oh, it would be with Y. I don't remember that. That's the thing about playing through each character's career. You'll remember their specials, but then the moment you play another character, it's time to learn there and you just forget everyone else's. Let's do a one two three four. Right, gotta remember that. Alright, we'll just end this round because we've done all the missions. Beautiful! Got it! Alright. 
All right, Rio, this is the next level. I'm using the D-pad to play this, but I, when I play this on GameCube, I was always using the stick. And now that I've felt how the stick actually is on this control, I'm gonna give it a go. Right, so this level's different. It's not actually, uh, there's no objectives on this one. It's a competition level. So you've actually just gotta skate and get on a high score without falling and messing it up. But there are five stat points hidden here. So I would like to click those. Alright, that's the deck over there. Alright. That's, um, it's just a customizable thing in the deck, so honestly, I'm not even worried about it. But these stat points are the only ones. We'll just restart the competition. really heads to school, so I'm going to try not to do that. As I was saying, oh, actually, hold on, there it is. That's all fire, I'm going to, let's try to do this properly now. I think the easiest way to rack up points on this is to just hit the rail. And we're gonna hit the special grind. Yeah. 105, that's a good run. Oh, I'm barely in first. Okay, hold up. Yeah, I do need to do better than that. Oh, here's a track. Is this the Spider-Man? Because this is honestly what I thought about when I heard that song in that movie. Hey, why did I need to do that? Pat's getting a little sketchy on me. And I'm hitting certain diagonals. Yikes. We can get back from this. Let's just end this run. Do another one. And I'm definitely going for gold because if we remember the Tony Hawk 2 stream, the game was kind of taunting me for not getting all three gold medals. I am not about to go through that again. It's chili peppers. What? Can you tell from this?
pick up my stat points. All right, let's get that up. Let's get that up. Let's get that up. Suburbia. Nice grab between the ramps. Okay. Oh, was that not the ramps? Damn. Yeah. Okay, maybe wrong set of ramps. Just these ones. I'm not gonna get this. Let's shoot over here. Check out this dude. Dumbass. Oh. Call me a dumbass. We have to help out that guy. That's so nice. We'll run for that one, and the last one's gonna be at the back here somewhere. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Yeah. Oh, God, there's the last one. Let's see it! Uh oh, I don't know where it is! Beautiful. Got it. Damn, I only one that uh, one goal. That's fine. That's fine. Maybe let's try skate. Tear it up. Let's let us up. Here. Somewhere around here. It's going to be a certain food. There's an axe. Okay. <laughs> I'm to go in there now. Check this out. I'm not sure if there's an Adam family type deal or something going on with this little section of the game, but. Yeah, I think that's all. Oh, that was the last pumpkin. Wow. I guess I know where it is now. Let's restart. I'm gonna go for a little. Your exhibit. 
I'm not going to name any names, but um, a certain local rapper in our area, he wants me to track over this beat that I once found. And that's the last time I mentioned that. <laughs> It's my second quarter lighter fluid. Oh, no. Actually, it's good. I want to get this one. Here's the last one. Howdy, neighbor, part two. Oh, well. Didn't mean to do that. Power lines I don't have to get on the roof of that. Gonna go here. Or that. Actually, I think I really should just do this. Oh, never mind. There we go. That's one thing about Tony Hawk games that is tricky is trying to navigate. And I stuffed it up. Oh, hold up, let's just do this. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you count it, but I guess we have played another Tony Hall game, or a Tony Hall like with a Disney Extreme Skate Adventure. I'm sure we played that like ages ago on the stream. But that game literally runs the exact same engine that this is on. Like bar for bar. It's actually a more simplified version of it because I guess they didn't think kids can handle the Tony Hawk engine in its fullest. We actually played uh, Pro Skater 2 back on Retro Replay. Yeah. Back in May as well. Yo, I think that's Zebrahead on the song. Okay, go back to the original plan. No! I swear I'm not actually like that this ass at this game. <laughs> okay, we got it. It's TV time. Thanks, buddy. Now we just gotta get a high school, so I'm just gonna go 
eat a ham in the uh, spooky area after this. Also, I'm missing a few of the stat points, but it's, it's fine. Oh, I can't do that yet. Just sneak in an extra. Hey, get to look at what's in here. Floating coffin. Oh, it says bats. Infinite bats. Oh, I got a move. That was kind of, kind of clutch. And that's okay. Let's see. Airport. I think this is one of like the favorites of this game. This airport level because it's very. Very linear, kind of like follow a path. Better get to our plane. Time to get paid. Stop the pickpocketers. Flight 275 to Woodland Hills is departing in 5 minutes from gate 23. Where's the pro in the high school done? This level, this level is really good for just like combos. What the hell? That doesn't look right. Stuff that up. Oh. Now boarding coach. The lower yeah, class. Maybe action. next time. Hmm. Let's see you tear it up. Let's see it! Mr. Thor, please report to the white courtesy phone. Oh, in that room, we got a few, got a few there. We got all the school based ones, and I just gotta do the little silly stuff. Yippee-ki-yo! Oh, 
coming through! Oh, wait, the last one's... Where's the last one? He's on this side. Flight 275 to Woodland Hills is departing right. in five minutes from gate 23. Actually, he's down the bottom. Secret tape, air walk over an escalator, and take the tickets. Alright, let's try that. I find the camera button. We can do that. Yeah, maybe next time.
You know, just in case something happens, we're gonna save the game here because we're pretty far in now. The last thing I would want is an unfortunate disc reading error or something. Uh, three levels to go. So this is another competition level, so I'm just gonna go and collect the stats first. Gotta get all of them in the one run here, I hope. This one's up on the left, though. more skating outside. Maybe it is outside here actually. Whoa. Oh it is actually I know exactly where it is. It's on the plank. Oh no I missed it.
ribs. Maybe that should be enough. 93, yeah, that's good. Farmer, we're not going to do that. We're just going to end the competition. Still in first. I didn't get all the stats, I'm not going to be maxed out, I need to remember. Oh, Los Angeles. So obviously I played this game before I ever played GTA 5. But, um... I want you to see and, uh... <laughs> tell me if this looks familiar right here. Where is it? Where is it? Let's where is it? see! Uh, this street, in particular... Uh, right here. In this little thing. <laughs> Let's see you mm. tear it up. <laughs> so yeah, Tony Hall 3 was my point of reference for Los Angeles when we first got into GTA. Yeah, well there's the, um, I don't know actually what it's called. We have a lot of four in the GTA game, but there it is. A little art. Precinct. What you got? What you got? Yuck. For sure it's in. Yeah, of course it's in. Yeah, right. I believe I've driven past it in Midnight Club Los Angeles too. Which just makes sense of being another Rockstar uh, IP. Huh? What you got? That was no Oh, actually, I think I'm gonna do a trick there. One foot, Japan, the pop and transfer. How do I do that? Grab tricks, one foot, Japan is. That wasn't the transfer. Hey Tony, let's see your trick. Cover shot. Oh damn. This is the level that, um, I think it's this rail here. I'm gonna run all these rails. There's one. This is 
gonna be number two. Let's see you tear it up. This is three. And this must be number four. Huh? What you got? And earthquake. Let's see it! What you got? Let's see you! Oh my god, these NPCs. Let's see you tear it up. Just gonna figure out how to get this K. Okay. Oh. Holy! Oh. Move, car! No. <laughs> I had an idea just then. That car totally stuffed up whatever the hell I was about to do. Huh? What you got? Huh? What you got? Oh wait, this is a mission too. That's so easy it seems. Look at the balls. Secret tape and okay. I'll just restart this because we're going upstairs now. get a six score now and I think this is really easy on this level. That, that, that. Uh, rail balance. Oh, I've been waiting for this song to play. Let's see you bust something out. Come. Bust something out! 
we do that. Let's see you turn up. Huh? What you got? Damn it, I'm gonna restart. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I got this. That was gnarly! I got an Alice line once. Not good. Let's see it. Not today. I get one more shot at this. What is this goal? 400,000. Yeah. I'm going to hit a 200,000 point combo. I'm calling my shot right here. <laughs> I got this. Here we go. No, I stopped it! I overshot the last jump there. Damn, that would've been... That would've been cool if I actually got that. This is the line I had in vision right here. Look at this. That, and then this. Holy! There we go. Into a special round of this, and then we hold this for ages. Oh my god. Yuck! Did he just say yuck? But yuck. <laughs> oh damn. Four hundred K should not be hard for me. Let's see you tear it up. That was not. Let's see you tear it up. Huh? Let's see you bust something out. Let's get that one and I'll get it. Restarting. Wow, this might be harder than I thought. Alright, alright. This is 
Let's see happened. you tear it up. Kill her. Let's see you bust something out. Let's see you oh my god, 350,000 points on there. Let's see it. That's good enough. Hey. Get for a million. That's fine. Hey! Once you really get going in a big combat like that, that's when this game is the, like the most addicting. Ooh, which like that? I think we're on the last level. Tokyo. Oh, big Nokia Olympia. I'm guessing Tony Hawk and Nokia must have had some, some kind of deal going, especially if um, you know it's plastered all over Disney Extreme Skate Adventure. Do you remember the mission I played where we had to listen to Nokia ringtones? Yes. That was <laughs> one of the worst things I've ever experienced. <laughs> Products like music is so different. Four. I don't think that's. I bailed a few times. I don't know if that's gonna be. Oh, we. Yeah, we're safe. 93. Yeah. Play this last one out for fun. Oh, I should try and get to the secret area. Alright, so I remember being very. Do some really specific kind of thing here. And you gotta go land up here somehow. And there it goes. I don't get another chance of that.
And it sucks, the hidden areas were really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I lied, of course. This isn't the final level. Oh, here we go. Pro Bales. Damn! <laughs> Here's your reward for getting all gold medals. Watching the pros eat shit. Well, I think the first turning will even have one too. I unlocked it in that. But it will crash through the monster. Yeah. Does it include the rematch? Uh, well, actually, I can't remember. Ow. <sighs> Damn. It looks like a leg break. Damn. Stop the landing. Was it this one that was included in the remake? Uh, remake was one and two. One and two. And apparently was planning for a three and four remake. I unlocked Tony's video too. That was the old skate magazine this logo, I believe. And then distribute out like uh, tapes of basically this kind of stuff. You beat the career mode of the skate and you unlock their like highlight reel. <laughs> All we ever do is stand as far back as we can and see how we can make it. Let's go, Tony. No. I swear I remember it going in. <laughs> I remember it's in the shop right now, but that's a little lost. And then we just do like wakeboarding around this area right here. This is my vanity car. This is a replica of my first skateboard. I mean, this is one of the original ones, but my first one's at this museum. My friend got this for me for my birthday. And this is uh, my dad's helmet that he used in World War II. And then I got to fly an F-18, so I got, I guess, a similar experience. I didn't get to bomb anything. I think everyone else is like, um, you know, just skating, but with Tony, you get, <laughs> you get all of this with him. come here. That's all he does is yell at the dog. I think that's Riley here. The kid there, he's um, he plays him in the, the new one because he's an actor skater too. Uh, let's But as I was saying, I don't believe I think we've got one more level to go. The special unlockable level that shows up after you beat it. The cruise ship. This is an interesting one. There's a lot of weird little Easter eggs and secrets that you can find. The like the PA system talking about if you have all, have all the sounds off about that. Attention all passengers, this and is press Captain the never stop. You'll never be worthy. The 2001, what a time. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. I do need to grind the. Uh, I need to do that at the start, just so I missed the slide. Cause I missed it again. Screw it. I'll just get that up here. I'm pretty sure this drains the pool, which will be very helpful in getting a good score. Shoot over here. Or not. I don't remember. Where's it going? Don't just it. Attention, passengers. A quick word of caution. Please check the pools for water before jumping in. Base planting the tile is strictly prohibited. Start there. Did I do any goals just then? I didn't. Invert the high wires. Okay, that's yep. <clears throat> Gosh, I don't know how to drain the pool. Maybe I just have to grind around it. Just confusing that with a completely different objective. I <laughs> raise the ferry somehow. The power box. Man, this power box. It makes sense. Oh, that actually worked. Thanks, buddy. Attention, passengers. The ship to Short Ferry has arrived. Those no leaving for the islands, please proceed to the starboard side shops on the promenade deck to board. Now that was 
Secret tape and escape. Oh, that's where the tape's up there. We're about to get the tape. Just 
for the escape, and then we're doing a we're just doing a score check, and then that's it. Six score, which I think was five hundred thousand. I just said. Oops. Five hundred thousand. Should be able to do that pretty easy. Not cool. Not like that. But doesn't matter. Okay, we're actually gonna retry this. <laughs> Sitting forward. God damn. Passengers, 
I think if they speak, it's like a spectator bonus or something. And they actually add to my combo multiplier. So that's a good thing. Oh, poor baby fell down. Oh, <laughs> That's it? Oh, yeah! Why did that combo drop? I landed flat. <laughs> that would have been it, by the way, if I landed that. This is the Mexico <clears throat> Bull Ring all over again from Tony Hawk 2. I remember I just kept trying to hit this one combo on that map. Oh, yeah! You know what? I'm just thought of anyway. I bet this game has got to be a sound track. My bad, uh, I have plans to uh, make my own custom Tony Hawk soundtrack on Spotify. Oh, well, uh, yeah, we're well, about to burn out one. After our uh, last week's episode, we decided to hey, that's it. come up with our custom burn out free soundtrack. Water skiing is now available off the back of the ship. Look, wait. Whatever you do, just hey, don't let go. Hey, that's it. Still take the number. Swing around and pick you up. See the shark in Bandit Waters. <laughs> Yeah, keep it up! 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 No! That was 400,000. <clears throat> so I think the longer a combo goes, and the more you use these special moves, it, it will nerf them over time and they become slower. And that's why <clears throat> my 900 was really slow just then. Because that was like a 450,000 point combo. And unfortunately, Yeah, not. keep it up! Now those are some moves. Oh. Using the pill to get a bit of a multiplier going here, and then. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna fumble this. Incarcerated in the brig, please proceed to the Biscayne deck. Visiting hours are now open. Ten thousand points. Now those? Literally three thousand points. There it is. Oh, we got it. Yeah. All goals complete. Why is that just yet yeah, abnormally loud? <coughs> Wait, oil rig? I don't remember this. Wait, oh, oh, I think this is the. Oh my god, that's a green screen. I think that was the, uh, I don't think we're going to get it, because <laughs> apparently we've, oh. oh, oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> that was absolutely terrifying, we're going to save the game. That's right, we're about to play an Xbox exclusive level, it's on the back of the box here. I've never played this before. How do I get to it? Alright, let's go back. So this game apparently uh, it says eight exclusive levels developed only for Xbox. Oh, sorry, one exclusive plus eight others. Interesting. So I say we end it off by checking out this. Um, oh, there it is on the end. Mate. Oil rig. Oh. I've never seen this before. I, I've it's the first. Of, I've heard of it. I've heard it's not exactly a good level because whoever 
ported this. No, actually, Neversoft would have made this map. What am I thinking? Whoa. Just gonna see what my mind tells me to do when I state this. My gross level's high. So this is like, how long have you been playing this game? Um, well, I would have got this game sort of mid-2010s on the GameCube. I played Tony Hawk 4 back a lot earlier than that on a friend's original Xbox before finding the GameCube version myself at a Game Traders in Townsville. Oh, well, what the hell? Oh, <coughs> And uh, yeah, I had no idea this level existed. Yes, after all this time, here's a first. This looks like a Tony Hawk 4 level. Here's my first impression of this. It's very big and open and there's lots of things to do by the looks of it. <clears throat> this is exactly how they ended up designing level 4. Because in number 4 they removed the 2 minute time limit on each run. It's just open world and you just go up and activate a mission and then, then the timer comes in and you've got however long to complete the mission. Oh. So this Tip looks like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's um, interesting. There's a big gap here. Let's say... One of the reasoning behind the uh, exclusive bonus level is <clears throat> the game. There is a game. Oh. That's a way to move. I'm back to you. There is a. How do I get where I want to go? Right in. There's one way to get up, just get up in there. Yeah, what's your call? Um, there was a game called Tony Hawk 2X, which only came out in North America on the Xbox. It was a remaster of sorts of Tony Hawk 1, uh, Tony Hawk 2, but it also included the campaign or the career mode of the first game. And that was ported by Treyarch, I believe. It also worked on the Dreamcast versions of 1 and 2. And uh, they call it. They added a bunch of levels in that that were exclusive to that version, but apparently a lot of them sucked. They were kind of just weirdly laid out and there wasn't really much to do in them and you could tell it wasn't designed by the Tony Hawk team. It was just them sort of having a crack at it. This seems to be a pretty legit level, probably created by Neversoft themselves. And yeah, like I was saying, major Tony Hawk 4 vibes. There's actually like an oil rig or some kind of factory level in that game that's visually very similar to this. Wow. Oh, I landed on something. But yeah, that, that's the oil rig. Um, that said though, when talking about 1 and 2, I'm pretty sure I've unlocked also what I want to have a quick look at. Um, free skate. Probably scroll right by them too. Oh no, I wonder how to get it. You can unlock the uh, three, there's three maps from the original Tony Hawk game you can get. But um, I don't recall how to get them. Did we unlock anybody? Custom skater. Well, we gotta go to the shop or something. Um... Gosh, I don't. Why am I forgetting how to unlock people? Because uh, what I really would have loved to have unlocked that I was sort of mentioning before without saying was I want to play the Darth Maul. <laughs> He's in this game. Darth Maul, uh, Wolverine, 
Kelly Slater, the surfer who rides a freaking surfboard. I wonder if we should just plug a cheat in and do it, because there's cheats for this game. We can just put in um, a cheat code. Yo, homies. <laughs> That's very uh, of the culture. Is there one for maps as well? Oh, did that not work? I love the corresponding cheat by beating Korean by 100% on the indicated number of times. Don't force K. Or for I get it. Where was it? Unlocked. Almost all skaters. Except Doom Guy. Doom Guy's in this! Doom Guy. Of course, we're gonna go to cheats option movie there, select it. It's just yoga homies. I thought I typed that. It's all caps. H O M I E S. I that sound. <laughs> it didn't sound like it worked. It sounded like an eh, eh, wrong. Working Maybe overtime it's in the to be background. Something different. <laughs> Trying to load these skater models. Yeah, because the, the custom skater comes after that. So let's. Is that the cheat? Maybe. It doesn't mention what console that is. Um. <clears throat> oh, here we go. All skaters. Team Freak. Let's try that. Like that made happened. a better noise. <laughs> oh, actually, I want to do. I saw an element just there. Uh, all, <clears throat> all levels complete career mode for character you used. I'm just going to type that in. I'm not too concerned about 100% in this game on this console in particular. Like so. Free skate. Choose. Oh. <clears throat> What's the wrong way? Okay, time to see these uh, hidden skaters that are in this game. I remember one being a little. Uh... Whoa, it's the bones! X ray. X ray the skeleton. The never soft eyeball. Making noise. flesh <laughs> noises. Demoness, who was. Um, I won't rotate her, let's just say that. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, check out the background too. He's like, the shop's on fire and stuff now. I'll open up a can on you, punk! It's Ollie the Magic Bum. He's been around since the second game. Oh yeah. Uh, Private Carrera, oh, who's a... I think she's a secret character from the first game. And so is him. Wolverine! Whoa. Let's see Marvel do this nowadays. And... Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna play one level with him. Now he's getting choked in the back too. Because <laughs> Star Wars, I guess. Um, we'll just muck around in... Tokyo was actually a cool looking level. It's very Star Warsy. I, I want to show you his special moves. His special moves are really cool on this. Good luck, Coruscant. Actually, yeah, how'd you say that? I just gotta remember how to do them first. Uh, so we have the Force Grab, Sith Saber Spin, and Dark Jedi Grind, which may just be a Neversoft uh, misunderstanding there. Dark Jedi. Dark Jedi. I'm supposed to Sith, <coughs> but. Sith Grind. Force Grind, check this one out. Forces the board away and then forces it back. And then we have these grinds. I'll do it slow this way. Oh, he does the. He does his little things from the movie. 
left on the flight. And the other one was the, the Dark Jedi one. I think I get this way. They're both bloody back, forward, and wide, but different directions starting. Okay, I'm going to change the input for it. Dark Jedi grind. I'm going to make that uh, up, down. Or down, up. Hmm, why not working? Okay, oh, that's that one. I changed the wrong hmm. one. I don't know why this one's not working. Sith Saber Spin. This is the cool one too. Uh, let's go... Uh, four down wires. Doesn't seem to want to work. That one seems good. Is this? It's a grind. Oops. Why can't I get it to work? Maybe we'll put this one back to left, right. <clears throat> we'll make this one up down because up down is really easy. Oh, where to go? Uh, down the bottom, keep one down there. <clears throat> we'll make that one. Uh, well, I don't know I was making that up down. Maybe it's a, it's a manual, I'm so dumb. It's not a grind. <laughs> Up down's a good input anyway. You just say do a manual and stick your stuff just widen. He just goes. Oh no, why'd he. I was doing it for a second, but he freaking in the uh, reverse. i special up real quick. Somehow, some way, the Phantom Menace has worked its way back onto the channel. <laughs> It's one of our most streamed Star Wars film, Phantom Menace. There we go. <laughs> he just spins the saber. Do we want to quickly see the Wolverines are? Yeah. Because <laughs> I honestly can't remember. I know Tony Hawk 2 had Spider-Man, but I've yes. never unlocked him in it. And then Tony Hawk 4 has uh, Boba Fett. For Attack of the Clones and who else? I'm, like, I'm forgetting. I feel like there was a Marvel character. I've, I've completely forgotten. Yeah, that's dude in the background. Oops. Still check. I'll just change the name. We'll just go to the freaking airport for this one. So he's got claw punch, that's a bit, that'll be a flip trick. Claw drag, that might be a grind, and then berserker. Up, down, up, down. Left, right, left, right. Flight 275 to Pacoima is departing in five minutes from gate 23. Oh. oh, nice. I did a spin with it though. It sort of looks like by itself. Hey. Oh, he oh, like cool. punches the freaking thing. Oh shit. I think it was left right. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a manual. I've lost it. I want a beast, that must be a grab. Please do not park in front of the terminal. We will hmm, what was it? Oh, up, down. I'm down. We'll tow your car and send you the parts in a box. Holy! That might be the coolest special move in the game. And I looked away. Oh. <laughs> There's this little um, mid-air pose. It's 
cool. I'm doing that down the stairs. But you can hold it too, it's like a bit of a grab trick. We'll just see if I just do this. Flight 275 to Pacoima is departing in 5 minutes from gate 23. Oh, I had the other one then. We are now boarding our first class and far superior individuals. I think I had the other one just then. Manuals with uh, the other inputs are really weird. If it is a manual. Claw drag. I assume it is. Yeah, manuals. Down up why? Yeah, it oh, makes sense. Place. He just does that on the ground. The yellow mm -hmm. is for yeah, loading and unloading only. Flight 62 to Hollywood is departing in 10 minutes from Oh. The only characters worth checking out, I guess. I wonder if, how the hell you get Doom Guy then with the cheat that way. Yeah. He must be like, literally beat all the careers. Which I'm sure I got close to doing. Unless he was console exclusive or PC exclusive. Oh, yeah. He's PC exclusive. Alright, that makes sense. Okay. We're just looking at him off the uh, screen. Uh, in Doom Eternal, a scable can be found in Doom Guy's ship. Yo! Nice unique special Alright. Highlighting do will not trigger a reaction from the, the Rasta guy they're calling him in the background. Back. So yeah, what's your uh, thoughts on the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3? Are you uh, visiting it? It's still one of my favourite games of all time. Hey. It's, um, I don't know if it's my favourite Tony Hawk game. Yeah! It! it always is a toss up between like 2 and 4 maybe. But 3 is a very close one. I probably did consider it to be my favourite one for a little while there. But it's, it was probably the last real sort of, I don't want to say simulator, but um, before the game got really crazy, because Tony Hawk Underground is where the series really became like super cartoonish and, you know, doing crazy arcade style tricks and stuff. And um, it just became a bit too over the top. I haven't really visited those games um, at all. So it's the Tony Hawk 1 to 4 series that I just really kind of vibe with well. And 3 is just, yeah, it's just from that era of gaming where um, everything's a little edgy. The humor's a little, uh, little uh, what you might call it, tongue in cheek. And the uh, secret characters were actually, you know, crazy. The, the secret characters are actually like secret and worth it. It makes you want to unlock them. Not that you want to play with, this, with Kelly Slater on a surfboard like I am here, but it makes no sense. And even like Darth Maul and Wolverine, like yeah. Spider-Man. You just don't get unlockables like that these days. I don't even know what the um, remakes, if they had any like crazy hidden characters in them. I know they were not going to get licenses for Spider-Man or, or probably a Star Wars character in general. It's just like what's left. Mm. Everyone's so protective of their IPs. That little, that silly cameos and stuff like this don't really happen. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this edition of Retro Replay for uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, at least. Hope you enjoyed watching. Oh, before we sign off, actually, yeah. that was where I just realised if the camera's going to focus it. That's the picture of the hidden, or oh, the bonus map. Yeah, it's sort of focusing a bit. Exclusive map for the Xbox. So, yeah. That was cool to find that out. Let's look at Burnout 3 and this Burnout. <laughs> Now what we're going to do very quickly before we do sign off is unpackage this little box I got in front of me and because you're in front of the camera I'll leave it with you. Okay. Because I think this is a sign of what we are playing next week. Interesting. So
So you know we're coming into the end of the year, December, and it means one thing, the festive spirit will be kicking up. And to kick off our festive season on Retro Replay next week, we're going to try this bad boy out. <laughs> Home Alone for the Super Nintendo. Never played this before in my life. I don't think I played it. Um, when I see the gameplay, I may be reminded of maybe playing it when I was younger. I don't know. But um, that's, a, that's a Super Nintendo cartridge there it right is. there. We've yet to feature an actual, um, well, the SNES console itself, because we have one. Yes. We've just um, mainly been using Nintendo Switch Online when needed for that. It's like the little booklet thing too. Oh, check that out. Come with them. So I think to truly go retro next week on Retro Replay, we're going to throw it right back to the SNES. I have no clue how good this game is. Well, I might have a slight idea, actually. Is there a certain publisher attached to this? No, unless this is a European thing, but if this is published by LNJ... THQ only? Yeah, is it, this must be early THQ. But, um, yeah, certain rainbow logo, LNJ, they published a lot of ass <laughs> back in these days. Look at those screenshots. Yeah. Don't expect too much from this game, guys. We're just going to try to pop it in, have a bit of fun with it. But there you go, Home Alone. I'm guessing... I'm going to say based on the first movie, but only in the box art and <laughs> marketing. Yes. I bet the game has nothing to do with it. Diddly squat. You know, I'm, I'm cautious to think if even the characters in, in the game are going to be the same. Surely the... Um, McAllister. I can't remember his first name. Kevin? Kevin. Well, that's Kevin! Gonna, that's going to be either Harry or Marv chasing him. The Wet Bandits. Looking a little rough. Homer my, Simpson outfit there for Kevin. My first um, my first thoughts looking at the screenshots is, this looks like an NES game. <laughs> this does not look like a Super Nintendo game that came out in. God, what what year did the movie come out? Oh, we're going right back with that one. I'm thinking. Nineties, perhaps nineteen ninety. That'd, that'd be pretty early for Super Nintendo, to be fair. I think Super Nintendo's 91 or 90 that it launched. So, yeah. And yeah, not only that, um, I am losing it. Polar Express. Oh. So we may have something else. And something else that is a bit of a project... We're working on, can't really find the disc right now, so what we might do is just hold that off. Um, Hang on, let's see if we can... Actually, if I stand up, you, you guys are going to get a good look at the, uh, the room we'll back. behind us here. Yeah, there we go. Check out the... Uh, By the way, it's our new setup, setup. It's pretty much final now. We've got the uh, big CRT television with some other consoles, N64, PS1, Dreamcast. It's basically... That's basically one error oh. right there. Still in the thing. Oh. And of course, the big screen TV for a bit modern gaming there. Oh, yes. For the PS4 setup there. And then there's all the um, games over this. Oh, P PlayStation, Wii games. Got the Xbox to the right of the computer. Um, you can see that Metal Gear Solid. Did an unboxing of that for our TikTok. And did a short and a. Um, Real, think of the uh, instant name. But yeah, here's another title that we're looking to feature as part of this year's Christmas Why does this theme? look brand new? It's, oh my god. I don't imagine too many people bought it, so perhaps there's not many. Um, <laughs> All aboard! Enhanced with oh, that's iTwi. What it says on the back too. <laughs> <laughs> Enhanced with iToy camera, that's interesting. Yeah, what the hell does that mean? We have an iToy camera, so we can find out what that means. So there's the Polar Express. Keep an eye out for a playthrough of that. Don't expect it to take too long. But it is Christmas. Warner Brothers. Play, play Rhythm Games is one of the <laughs> advertisers on the back. Oh, so there you go. I don't like um, 
I don't know if I like where that one's going. <laughs> so, like, the um, Home Alone game, I don't think... There's the Australian you know, one too, Jerry. Basically from the cover art and... Although it might be a bit more in tune with the movie, but... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it. This episode of Retro Replay, thanks for watching. We're going to sign off. And see you back here on the channel very soon. <laughs>